Hello and welcome to this overview video of F Expansion Cypher 2. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief look at Cypher 2 and what it's capable of, including sounds like these. So what is Cypher 2? Well, it's an analog modeled synthesizer that's been designed with expression and performance foremost in mind. That means it's fully compatible with the latest MPE controllers, like the Roly Seaboards, which allow for more per note expression, like per note pitch bend. Don't worry if you don't have one of these controllers, Cypher 2 works beautifully as a regular MIDI synthesizer with any keyboard. Cypher 2 comes with over 700 regular presets and over 400 expressive 5D MPE presets. So let's take a quick look around the interface and get you accustomed to what's going on. When you load up Cypher 2, you'll see this. The main part of the screen is the synth itself. And this is switchable between three pages. The synth page, which you're looking at now, the Effects page, and the Sequencer page. Cypher 2 is a three oscillator, two filter, analog modeled synth. The three oscillators are in the top left here. The two filters are in the top right. The output amplifier section is here. And along the bottom here, we have various modulators, including dual LFOs, three envelopes, and the ramps. As well as all of this, Cypher 2 is capable of frequency modulation, ring modulation, comb filtering, wave shaping. It's got many different filter types. It's got an advanced step sequencer, and it's got an effect system that allows you to apply up to six simultaneous effects from a library of 30. On the left here, you'll see the browser. This allows you to search and filter through all the different preset types. An easy favoriting system allows you to easily mark any preset to quickly come back to it later. In the browser, MPE presets are labeled as 5D. You can see a couple here. Because standard MIDI controllers and MPE controllers use different MIDI settings, Cypher 2 can intelligently switch between them depending on which preset you select. This is indicated by this auto button up here. If you don't want to be switching between 2D and 5D sounds, you can simply select whichever MIDI controller type you have permanently plugged in and leave it at that. I'm switching between both, so I'll leave it on auto. Up at the top here is the Transmod Modulation System. You can see 24 slots here. These are modulation slots, and each one can contain a modulation source which you can use to modulate almost anything in the synthesis engine. For example, if I select Performance 1 here, which I know is mapped to my modulation wheel, I can see that it's mapped 
to the oscillator 1 waveform. If I want to apply the same modulation to anything else, let's say the filter cutoff, I can just come over here and apply some modulation and you can see it in orange around the knob. Transmod is a very flexible and visual way of applying modulation when sound designing. I can roll over any of these slots to see what's being affected by that particular slot source. Here I'm looking at envelope 1 and I can see that it's applied to at least four different destinations by looking for the orange rings around certain parameters. So that concludes our quick look at Cypher 2. We'll be looking at many features in a lot more detail including the sequencer, how to create 5D sounds and more in a series of forthcoming tutorials. In the meantime, we hope you enjoy one of the most flexible, expressive analog modeled FM synthesizers ever made.